Ghanaian actor and NPP loyalist Prince David Osei has come out to clarify the air about um, some misunderstandings between himself and Christiana Awuni. According to the actor, Christiana Awuni didn't pay his fees, so she had no right saying the word she said to him. The actor has been speaking to Ms. G on TV3 News. They had um, quite a lot of things to say about um, the banter between himself and Christiana Awuni. Let us take a listen to Prince David Osei. When we come back, we'll go into John Dumelo as well. We all have, that's why I said, if you understand democracy, we all have the right to belong to whatever faction we want to belong to. Abu Jinapo, John Jinapo, they're two blood brothers. One is MPP, one is NDC. They are both going to parliament this year. So we need to understand something. It was necessary that I go to Ayawaso. Mm. Taking into retrospect the, the full, you know, election, I, I was supposed to go there and I went. Look at how the whole election turned out. Look at the parliamentary, look at the presidency. So just imagine if we had lost that seat. The goal was four more for Nana. Nothing mattered. Not even your colleague mattered. What colleague? He's also standing. He's standing on the other side. Mizzy, are you saying if it was me that was standing, John would say, okay, his whole campaign for Muhammad to retain power, he's going to ignore it and say because Prince David wants to stand? Let's be fair here. Maybe you would have supported your candidature as a member of parliament. No. He was on the other side. A house divided against itself cannot stand. I can't be a hypocrite. I can't be campaigning for MPP and at the same time, come on. People are going to say I'm a hypocrite. I can't do that. Mm. And for Mrs. Awuni, um, I was thinking here, yeah, even if we had done something wrong as an elderly person, you don't just come on TV and start making it look like it's a funeral. No. You can say, oh, me a Bema or something, my year or something. She is purely NDC. So, from a point of view, understood, but she, 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 showed, she, she oh, said she that. is, she is. It's not like she said we know she is. But at the end of the day, I don't begrudge her. That's her opinion. But what she should understand is she doesn't own my life. I, I lead my own life separately, so I can choose to do whatever I want to do. You understand? Mm. Yeah. So I don't see why. That's why I told her she should go to. Uh, she should go to school and understand the meaning of you democracy don't, you, don't, you don't think it was too harsh? On no, it, was, it wasn't too harsh when she said with the when you are media then then when she was saying that was it too harsh? Media is like I'm not happy. Or since bass, yeah, junior. That's what she said. Or since That means we are stupid. We don't think. That's what she said. So she needs education to understand the meaning of democracy and understand politics. You see, until people come to this realization, people will just be taking things personal and taking things to heart. All right, so that was Prince David Osei clarifying um, the issues between himself and Christiana Wuni. As you rightfully heard, he said the best thing Christiana Wuni should have done was to call him. And then they would have spoken on phone or something like that. So uh, it would have been settled amicably than just go on um, radio and then be ranting at him saying that um, he's ungrateful. And then all of the names and all of the things Christiana Awuni said about him has been talking about John Dumelo. It says that even John Dumelo um, understood the fact that he was going to be campaigning for Nanado Dankwa Kufado because um, he's an NPP um, loyalist and then his allegiance lies with the NPP. However, John Dumelo asked him to vote for him um, during the elections because Prince David Osei also happens to find himself within the Ayawa so West Wagon constituency where John Dumelo contested uh, Honorable Lady Asiria Malassan for the parliamentary seats. He had a lot of revelations to make about John Dumelo and then one of the things he also said was that John Dumelo doesn't post anything from his side. Prince David Osei says that he's been doing a lot of hard work, um, has been doing so many things but then none of his colleagues support what he does. So it's not as if he's not supporting John Dumelo or anything like that. The industry itself is a divided one. And of course, a house divided against itself can never stand. Let us take a listen to the Ghanaian actor. Never been unity. How many times have you seen any of my colleagues post my artwork? Let's say I do a movie or premiere or even my birthday. Have you ever seen John post me on his page before? You have a personal friends? problem with him? No, I'm just saying, have you ever seen? I don't have a personal problem with him. As a matter of fact, what happened um, recently... I and John have spoken about it three months ago when we met at Reggie Vine um, shop opening at East Legon. I mean, we are cool. I know so we laughed about it. So we all saw this coming, and John doesn't have a problem. 
Mm. John doesn't have a problem at all. So I don't understand because myself, Calibos, John even called Calibos the next day and said, hey, you have more pressure. So I didn't understand all of a sudden people started in, you know, inciting hate. No, John doesn't have a problem. Mm. Let me go back to what you said. You said you met him and then you said, you said... Then he said, oh, like, I'm coming hard, oh, mm. and I'm serious. Then he was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So that's what you did? Sorry? That's what you did? And now that, that no. you, you, you told my John, and now that, that Oh, no, no, I asked to, I mean, when I went to the booth, I was alone there, so I asked to who I voted <laughs> for. I can't, I can't So you, you, you told him a lie at that time, you just had to tell no, him something. No, I didn't tell him a lie. He said, he said on himself, oh, no, dear, I met him, and I'm sure, yeah. You got him, he said, you told him you got him, but yeah. you didn't have him. I didn't have him. Uh, you said you you got him, but now you didn't get him. Yeah. Got him. Were you in the booth with me when I voted? I mean, that's what I'm asking. Yeah. You. So you don't know who I voted for. <laughs> but you just said you can't be a hypocrite. So. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm. No, coming out boldly mm. to support him, I can't do that. Mm. I'm I'm for MPP. Mm. So if I'm for MPP, then obviously it has to be MPP. So that means that your vote also went to the MPP. Definitely. For parliamentary and. Uh, well. I don't have to well, give why, why are you not you're, you're strong to, I don't, I don't you're, you're, you're strong you're strong on the uh the presidential but you're no, not too because strong. you see what people do understand is before you saw those pictures uh, i live at east Lebanon. okay every now and then when i drive i'm campaigning at the washing base car wash i'm campaigning people in traffic so i've been doing this job until you guys saw the picture that's why it's funny to me if if anybody hadn't seen a picture of me and my leader they wouldn't have known i was working uh, it's just it's just one of those. Okay, so prior to that, you're already working. I stayed there. Any time I come out of my mm. house, I'm, I'm campaigning. Mm. I wasn't working for her, but I'm campaigning for Nanado. Okay. So do you understand? So by so, extension for yes. my media. So until mm. you guys saw the picture, we, we were working. It mm. wasn't just that day. Do you understand? So, so, so and as a matter of fact, that day we went to Jamestown, we went to Ablekuma. So it wasn't just Ayawa. So. Mm, but that's what got a lot of people. Yeah, talking. but I mean. All right. So that was Prince David say clearly voicing out some of his frustrations right there. And then the stories with Prince David say the NPP and all that. Um, it's quite a lot. But let me say a very big thank you to Dr. Amuzu Herbal Clinic. I've been telling you over the period of time that Dr. Amuzu is saying that if you have penis problems, then they are your best option. They are your best shot. They are your best solution. Dr. Amuzu says that you have um, problems with your penis in terms of um, are you having erectile dysfunctioning? Um, is your penis shrinking? Are you having an early discharge within uh, two minutes of intercourse? Then we are bare mana on waba, and yet come all you have to do is to visit Dr. Amuzu and then they have branches all over the country from Sunyani to Tadi to the central region here in Kumasi and of course in Accra as well. So please do all to contact Dr. Amuzu so that you'll also find the solution to your problem. So Dr. Amuzu um, says that Omo Abba Amam, you're a girl and then your boyfriend is going through um, similar challenges. Please recommend Dr. Amuzu. There are numbers uh, on the screen right now. And then in this next uh, video, we are going to watch Prince David Osei says that it doesn't matter if people are going to be against him or not. What he knows is that um, we are born into this world alone and definitely we are going to go alone. No matter what you do, it's not going to um, be okay with a lot of people because at the end of the day Charlie you for please yourself those who love you are going to love you those who hate you are going to hate you it doesn't matter if you are NPP or NDC and he also disclosed um as political ambitions who knows one day he could become the president of Ghana is he also going to contest for a parliamentary seat we do not know what are his political um aspirations let us listen to the actor as he talks about all of that you don't think it will have any effect on your career as an actor, those career who want how? to watch you? No, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on set right now as I speak to you. You see, those who will watch you will watch you. Those who will love you will love you. Busy, there's no point trying to fit in somewhere you don't belong. I've been in the industry for 17 years now. Wow. So I know the dynamics. People will smile at you, but they, deep down they don't like you. They wish you were dead. So there's no point trying to play for the people. I don't mm. care. Mm. I mean, I just do my... If I have to do a movie, I'll do it. That's all. This morning, I got a call from Nigeria to film. So it, it won't stop me from doing my job. Mm, mm. If somebody feels like they don't want to watch me on TV, as soon as you see me, put off your TV. Uh, so you're, you'll be losing fans then? See that. It's God that watches over us. It's not human. You see, sometimes you need to... How do I put it? You need to take that bold step. We evolve. Tomorrow, I might end up being... The president of ghana who knows i'm not going to be an actor forever all right so um 
News reaching our outlet is that Ghanaian comedian and also actor Funny Face is in critical condition at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital right now. The information we are gathering is some um, scary and heartbreaking, but then we wish Funny Face well. And then Abba the Great posted it on her Instagram page. And then Abba the Great is actually one of um, the very few bloggers you can trust when it comes to issues like this. And this is no prank according to Abba the Great. So she posts a picture of Funny Face on her Instagram page. And then this is the caption she gives it. She says that, I've just been informed by a security personnel from Kaswa that Funny Face has been admitted at Kolebu Teaching Hospital. Let's pray for our brother Funny Face. Sending love and light your way, bro. Okay, so this is coming from Abba the Great. Funny Face and of course baby mama, Ama Vanessa, have been in the news over the period of time from We Smokers, from Ella and Bella, and then all of that. And then even recently, the Almighty God blessed them with um, a bouncy baby girl. So we say thank you to God Almighty on their behalf. And then whatever funny face is going through right now is at the hospital. And a lot of people seem not to be believing the story. They are thinking it's a prank. So let me read some few comments then. Uh, we proceed. And um, Eunice Afrakuma Bwata is saying that is pretending so to get sympathy. And then Abba the Great says, that um no dear this time it's real and then elaine saying is saying that oh what happened this time around hope he is okay and then dr darko is saying he better get well soon now child support money no is very important so these are um some of the comments from social media some are saying that maybe is pulling another prank and others are saying that it could really really be serious what funny face is going through at the moment you do not know if it's been admitted for depression reasons or otherwise but then funny face is at the kolibu teaching hospital right now as i'm speaking to you we pray um that he recovers speedily we wish him a speedy recovery but then we'll bring you all the updates on that funny face story do not go anywhere keep um your channel logged here on ghana page and then for the best updates we'll bring to your doorstep and then this is where um i wrap up do not forget to subscribe to our channels across social media ghana page on youtube ghp news on facebook and ghp underscore com on Twitter and also www.ghpagenews.com. My name is Jepsam, always your MC General. How are you guys?